Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and today I've got the pleasure of showing you a British Racing Green Factory 5 Cobra. Small block under the hood. You're going to love checking this one out guys. So go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We're going to get it up on the lift so you can look at the bottom side. We'll get the hood up, take a look at that small block. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a good decision on your Cobra investment. So come on up and let's fire this Cobra up. One of my favorite colors on these babies is this British Racing Green. And this one's carbon fiber, so you're saving a lot of weight. It's like 75 pounds of weight savings. All the chrome looks great. That paint is just hopping in the sun. Man, all that metallic's coming out. The white racing stripes look good. Got jet coated uh, pipes on the side here. We got the uh, GT40 style wheels. The doors operate nice. Everything's nice and clean and well done. Chrome roll bar, chrome bumper here on the back. Inside the trunk, all the tin work looks good. We've got uh, the batteries mounted here in the trunk, easy to get at. Looks like we got a lug wrench here and this looks like the key for the uh, locks there. I love the racing style fuel cell there, beautiful. Look down the side of it, she is straight as can be. Four wheel disc brakes on this baby. These Cobras are just a blast to drive. And at Vanguard, we're not a consignment dealer. That means we spent the time to check this car out before we bought it. When we get it back here to the shop, we inspect it so we can answer all your questions when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now let's take a look under the hood. Door panel looks great. We've got some upholstery there. They've upholstered the dash, the carpeting looks great, wood steering wheel, there's that uh, Cobra style shifter everybody's looking for, great looking upholstery on the seats, this Cobra's ready to go guys. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, let's take this Cobra for a ride. Factory 5 small block. Don't let the small block kid you. This thing is fast as lightning, man. She is sweet. She's handling the curves awesome. She's just a blast to drive, guys. Trans feels good. Um, pedal location is good on this car. I'm uh, right at six foot tall, weigh about 250, and I fit in this thing just fine. Just grab second there, downshifting nice, down in the first. Get around this corner and over this little bump. Here we go. in the small block. <laughs> this baby will scoot, guys. She's sweet. Look at that. No hands on the wheel, Mom. Now down here on the dash, my tack's working, my RPM's working. Um, actually, the tack and the RPM are the same thing. I meant to say my Speedo's working. Fuel gauge, temp gauge, oil pressure gauge, amp gauge, and then that looks like the battery gauge. That wood steering wheel's awesome. I mean, this thing drives itself. You practically don't even need to grab the steering wheel. Brakes feel great. She's upshifting and downshifting nice. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this Factory 5 Cobra anywhere in the world. You just call us at 248-974-9513. Tom would like to tell you all about this car and he'll tell you how easy it is to ship this baby anywhere in the world. 
And of course, wherever you go, you're gonna turn some heads. Everybody's gawking at this baby. Then of course, there's that. <laughs> Just downshifting nice, making those pipes sing. Now our shop's right outside the Motor City in Plymouth, Michigan. So if you're in town on business, we're 20 minutes from the airport. Come on down and visit us, please. Here's our shop right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now stick around because we're gonna do the underside too. We're gonna get it up on the lift so you can see how pretty the underside is. And then we'll get the hood up and check that 302 out under the hood. All right, guys, we're underneath our 65 Factory 5 Cobra right now. Uh, starting from the back forward, you can see we got the gas tank cover here. It looks like it's never touched the ground. No skid marks, no road rash. Moving forward, we can see this actually has the coil over upgrade on it. These are fully adjustable, which is really nice. Uh, also, you can see here we have this uh, aftermarket uh, rear end cover here. These uh, bolts right here actually go into the caps for the uh, rear end, and it actually makes it considerably stronger. Um, on the ends of the rear end, you can see we've got disc brakes here with nice new lines. Everything looking good there. The soft lines are in good shape, and we have checked the pads and the rotors. Everything's tight and right. This here is a uh, Ford 8.8 .8 rear end. Um, it's uh, roughly around like a 3.73 gear. It is posi. Um, we have the Cobra drive shaft here, U-joints, nice and tight. I'd also like to point out the frame here. You can see it's all powder coat black. Really nice, very strong. Um, here we've got a Borg Warner uh, T5 transmission and it does have an electronic speedometer in it so you've got accuracy and we even have a cable clutch too for smoothness. Uh, of course new brake lines going all the way up forward and I'd like to also point out the body on this Cobra. This is actually a carbon fiber body not the typical fiberglass body. You save roughly 75 pounds with this body so it makes it even faster. Uh, for you uh, Ford aficionados, you can see that this has the later model pan on it, which implies that this is actually a later model engine, and the casting number actually confirms this. This is a roller block, guys. You don't have to worry about any uh, flat tap at cam uh, failures. Moving forward here, Motorcraft FL FL1A, good oil filter choice. We have uh, rack and pinion steering as well, serpentine system here, that's good. Um, We've got an electric fan up here on this aluminum radiator to keep it cool. Everything's nice there. Uh, all the hoses look good. We have disc brakes in the front. Once again, we've checked them all out. Everything, uh, everything's nice and tight on those, along with the front end as well. Um, let's, let's check out the wheels and tires, guys. All right, guys. Here we've got a set of Goodyear meets on it, uh, Eagle, uh, Eagle GTs. These are 245 50 R16s, and you, they're uh, mounted to a set of uh, the GT40 style Cobra wheels. Everything looking good, no road rash, never scrubbed a curb. Everything looks good. Let's go see the backs. All right, guys, we got the same good looking wheel and tire back here, even the same size, 245 50 R16. And once again, it's Eagle GTs. These things hold this thing to the road pretty good. And we, once again, we've got the same good looking rim, uh, same shape. No uh, road rash, no scrubs, no nothing. Looks good, guys. Let's go check out the motor. All right, guys, we got a Ford small block. Nothing wrong with that and a Cobra. This particular one is a 302, and like I mentioned in the undercarriage uh, section of it, this is actually a roller block, so this in a factory roller block at that, so you don't have to worry about any flat tap at cam wear on this one. Uh, more so than that, we have a wine single plane intake on it. And this thing is actually exceptionally drivable for a, a, a single plane intake. That's a one big positive with this one. On top of that single plane intake, we have a Holley 4160, and it is a 600 CFM model, single feed, vacuum secondaries, and an electric choke on this one. Uh, moving forward on this, we've got, uh, this is actually a distributor of a Boss 302 for you guys that are into nostalgia stuff, so that's really cool. Fed by a MSD Blaster 2 coil. Um, like I'd mentioned before, we got our nice serpentine system here. Um, alternator looks to be pretty fresh. Um, you can't see it, uh, but right there we have uh, manual brakes on the car with more a more modern style master, and sil master cylinder, so that's good. We got looks like a set of uh, pretty nice headers on this thing, little shorties. Um, see here, we got our Cobra, all of our Cobra badging and stuff like that. That's really cool. And this is a modern style over overflow tank out of a looks to be like a modular motor car. 
Well, guys, that's about it. If you guys want to see this car in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this Cobra in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.